Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope I'm not blending into the background um, wearing this shirt. Um, but I, I quite like it. It's, it's a very pretty shirt. It has a great big heart on it. Um, right, I'm going to do this little video, a um, little demonstration on how to work with pigments. Um, I have two e.l.f. ones here. One is a matte cream colour. You should see that. It's a matte cream colour. And then this one is a like a, a little bit of a glittery, um, lovely sort of purpley colour. Gorgeous colour this. Um, so now I've got that all over my end of my finger. I best wipe it off. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what I have done. I think you've, I think I've um, done a look with this colour before, but um, I thought this this is um, colours that everyone can get from Elf, and they're they're um, quite a, a cheap price, and they do work well. So that's what I've done. I've already done my face with um, Bourjois Healthy Mix, um, the serum one, the foundation, um, and the blush I have used is a like a pearlescent pink colour. This one's from um, Wet and Wild, but any sort of pinky shade will go with you know an eye look like this. I contoured with the NYX colour wheel. The lipstick, I'll, I'll show you the lipstick at the end when I put it on. Right, we will zoom in. Oops, I need to take my camera a little bit higher up. So I'm just going to tip you up a little bit. There you go. And zoom in just a little bit more. I have already primed my eye with e.l.f. eyelid primer and then I have set that with some of this um, e.l.f. matte creamy colour. I didn't have a pigment in the right colour to go into my crease so I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, was it quad and I'm going to use this one here. So it's just this is just a plain ordinary eyeshadow. So I'm going to work this into my crease and use this as a transition colour. Better pick up my mirror because I can't. I've got a mirror. <laughs> can't see. I was trying to do it in the viewfinder, but I can't see properly. So, so I'm just gonna blend, blend that through. Use my finger a little bit to blend the top. Like that. Now I'm going to use this pigment dry to start with. Now I find that the best ways to put pigments on are to are to is to use a brush like this. It is relatively flat. It is quite stiff, we well, can see the pigment flying out of it, um, it's quite stiff, it's not gonna, it's not going to fluff up all over the place because the last thing you want to do is to put a pigment on with say a brush like, like this because that is just going to go absolutely everywhere. So the best sort of brush to use is, is this type of brush. Right. And the way that I do it, I open my pigment. There is already already some sitting in the bottom of there. I'm just going to oops, how am I going to do this without spilling it everywhere? I won't. Just dipping my brush into that, tapping it off, and then putting it into the lid and tapping it off 
and you can see how much is coming out of that. You don't want you want to really tap it off because you don't want all that fallout coming onto the bottom of your eye. I also did this eye makeup on this side with my foundation done. So if you're really really careful, um, it doesn't have to be all over the place. But if you don't feel confident with it, just do your face makeup afterwards. And then what you do is very very gently, carefully, is pat. Don't scrub, that's another way of getting it everywhere. And the easiest way is just to pat it on and build up the colour. So into the dish again, tap off, and just keep adding. It's not very bright in here today, it's really, really ultra Autumn, 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 wintry day outside. It's very dull. The wind is blowing like mad and it is pouring with rain. I don't mind autumn and winter, but I hate the rain. So into the lid again and tap off. I'm leaving that portion there empty because I'm going to put the cream colour on. So just keep patting till you get the colour that you want. This side has got a little bit of wet on it so this side is not going to look the same until I have done that step. You can go straight in with the wet pigment um, but I thought I'd show you the um, dry first. Took that behind my ear, it's getting in the way. So, just building that up at the, at the top edge, going up, up a little bit there into the crease. Right. right, that's with it dry. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the crease colour again and just blend out the top edge a little bit. Like that. Blend that corner a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to use the cream coloured one on my brow bone. This won't come out. I think I think it's nearly empty. I need to get another one. <laughs> it won't come out. It doesn't want to come out managed to get a little bit out in the lid. Um, this is a little bit more of a fluffier brush than I would really like to use but it is it is on the flatter side like the, the one I've put the colour down on and then again very very carefully pat that onto the brow bone and gently blend gently blend through and then I have taken another flat shaped brush now for the co inner corner I really could have done with um, a, a, fl um, a loose pigment that had um, some shimmer but I haven't actually got a cream colour with some shimmer I'm going to have to um, rectify that and get myself one so I'm going to have to use, you know, the, the matte colour. So that is using the pigment wet, uh, dry. And as you can see, there is no fallout, no fallout whatsoever. And that is just used doing it really, really carefully um, by just patting on the colour. Now. 
to use it wet you need to tap out a little bit you only need a little bit into your um, lid if you didn't want to use the lid to make it wet from the top of your container just use um, the little gaps in eyeshadow palettes like this to mix your colours you can do it like that do it there that would oh, got black on the end of my finger um, that would work now to make this shadow wet you can either um, use a fixing spray this is the Urban Decay Control Makeup Setting Spray or you can use Elf Do One um, but I, I haven't got that at hand it's yeah it's empty I need to it's up there somewhere um, I need to replace them that's a really good setting spray the the elf one or you can use you can rub your brush onto a wet wipe um, you can use plain water so what you do is spray uh, spray your brush and I then get a piece of kitchen towel like that and I just damp it off because you don't want it too wet and then you take your brush put it into that colour and just mush it round like that And then what you're going to do is just see so you can go in straight on a naked well on, on your eyeshadow base with this without doing the dry bit first but I didn't want to um, I wanted to show you how to use it dry and then you just use it like an ordinary eyeshadow you can just rub it on you don't need to um, you don't need to push it on anymore because um, because the um, eyeshadow isn't um, loose anymore, it's like a wet, but it is wet eyeshadow. But, um, just on a little bit more. And then just put that on. I mean, I do prefer to dab it because it gets the, I think it gets the colour on better where you want it. And then just, you know, work it. Sorry, my mirror was in the way. And then just work it onto your eye. And you end up with like a metallic-y sort of wet look to your eyeshadow. And then to deal with the top edge again, I'm going to go back into this palette from the e.l.f. palette onto that colour. Take the crease brush that I was using and then just work out the top edge just blend it through again just work the top edge through like that and that's it really really I think I've done that top edge isn't quite right the same as the other one I don't think it is. Oh, it is. It's not too bad. And that is how you do it. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to put my pigment pots out of the way because they haven't got lids on at the moment. I'm then going to line my my upper lid with the black Maybelline. What's it called? I Studio Lasting Drama Gel Liner. So I'm just going to line the top. Just like that.
There you go. Sorry, I think I blocked you out there, didn't I? I <laughs> do apologise. And then to do the um, bit underneath, that is a dry um, application under there, but I'm going to do this one wet. You just sprayed my brush again, work it into the bot the, the top again like that. So you have the colour on the ends of try and keep the colour on the ends of your brush because that's where you want it. And then just use it to run along there underneath your eye. And I gently use my finger just to just to smudge that out a little bit. And then use the little brush on the cream colour and blend that along the bottom and blend it into the purple colour, lilacy purple colour, like that. And that's lined. I mean, you can go all ahead and tight line if you want, but um, it never never stays on my waterline, and it makes my eyes really sore. And then I'm going to go in with my organic wear physicians formula. Care what is this one? Um, Curl care mascara. Really, really like this mascara. It's really nice. Um, it just takes patience on getting it on because you um, you need to layer it and layer it um, to get you know the colour on. So it does take a little while getting it on, but once you have got it on, it is really worth it. I'm putting them this on without curling my eyelashes, and I think it does a really really good job. Of keeping your eyelashes curled without having to curl them. Do you notice that my eyelashes are growing back? I have decided that it was my eyelash curls, curlers, that was um, yanking them out. Um, I curled them a couple of days ago. Now I do clean. <coughs> <coughs> I do wash, sorry about that, excuse me, I do wash my curler, lash curlers after every time that I use them so there's no sticky eyeliner, no mascara stuck to them so it's not they're not sticking to my eyelashes and pulling them out that way. Um, but I've just started to notice that every time I use my eyelash curlers there was loads of eyelashes all over the curler. Um, and I, when, you know, I've used them, I don't pull them off, I open the curler and let, you know, my lashes out properly, so I do know how to sort of use them. Um, but yeah, since I've stopped using them, my eyelashes are growing back. So I haven't got any nasty gaps anywhere. Because this side was the worst. Um, and they're really, really growing. There is a little gap just here. Those haven't yet to grow back. But, um, yeah. I've thrown them away. And using this mascara, you don't need them. The only thing is, this is the one that, um, if you get... If you get, um, if eyelashes get wet, either through crying or out in the rain, it stings like the devil. It is awful. That way, but uh, just try and not get them wet. Right. I think we're nearly there.
There we go. Great lashes. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to zoom out. We're zoomed in. Alright, straighten my fringe. Yeah. Doesn't want to go where I want it to put go. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't got a lip liner to go with this. Sorry about this. Got to find a uh, lip liner. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't get in too close. My lip, put my glasses on for the minute. The lipstick I'm going to use is a Wet n Wild one and it's 907C and it's called Mulvata there. So that's the lipstick. And it looks like that. So I need to find a liner that's going to go with that. I know exactly the one that I want. There you go. And it is a Jordana Quick Liner Lips in number 11 Wild Orchid. This is one of the wind up ones. And it goes really really well with that. So it's going to line my lips. Oh, I've already put a lip primer thingy on. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. It is a Sally Anson lip primer and plumper. Looks like that. So, line my lips. Sorry, I'll go quiet when I'm doing this. <laughs> Sorry. Let's zoom you in a little bit. And line. And then fill in. I always fill in and then if you eat or drink anything and your lipstick gets worn off excuse me oh I thought I was going to sneeze oh sorry um, you don't get the awful line around the outside of your mouth like that and then I'm going to wind the lipstick up <coughs> And then add the lipstick. There we go. <coughs> Sorry. So there you go. hope you like like that and I hope that you know the demonstration with the pigments has helped anyone that um, you know was struggling with pigments um, I mean, it's like not everyone knows how to use them you know um, I learnt from someone from YouTube so um, if I can pass that information on and help someone I hope I have um, so bye for now and I'll see you again soon